February 2, 2019 Feast of the Presentation of the Lord A reading from the book of the prophet Malachi Thus says the Lord God, Lo, I am sending my messenger to prepare the way before me, and suddenly there will come to the temple the Lord whom you seek, and the messenger of the covenant whom you desire. Yes, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts, but who will endure the day of his coming? And who can stand when he appears? For he is like the refiner's fire, or like the fuller's lie. He will sit refining and purifying silver, and he will purify the sons of Levi, refining them like gold or like silver, that they may offer due sacrifice to the Lord. Then the sacrifice of Judah and Jerusalem will please the Lord as in the days of old, as in years gone by. The Word of the Lord. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Lift up, O gates, your lintels. Reach up, you ancient portals, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Lift up, O gates, your lintels, reach up, you ancient portals, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Since the children share in blood and flesh, Jesus likewise shared in them that through death he might destroy the one who has the power of death, that is, the devil, and free those who through fear of death had been subject to slavery all their life. Surely he did not help angels, but rather the descendants of Abraham. Therefore, he had to become like his brothers and sisters in every way, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest before God, to expiate the sins of the people, because he himself was tested through what he suffered. He is able to help those who are being tested. The Word of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When the days were completed for their purification according to the law of Moses, Mary and Joseph took Jesus up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, just as it is written in the law of the Lord, Every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord, and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons, in accordance with the dictate in the law of the Lord. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit, that he should not see death before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. 
He came in the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took him into his arms and blessed God, saying, Now, Master, you may let your servant go in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you prepared in the sight of all the peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles, and glory for your people Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at what was said about him, and Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted, and you yourself a sword will pierce, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. There was also a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel of the tribe of Asher. She was advanced in years, having lived seven years with her husband after her marriage, and then as a widow until she was eighty-four. She never left the temple, but worshipped night and day with fasting and prayer. And coming forward at that very time, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were awaiting the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had fulfilled all the prescriptions of the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. The Gospel